Hello students, myself Dr. Divya Ghildeyal in continuation with my lecture series for interference from AKTU B.Tech first year engineering physics syllabus. Today I will be telling you the case of wedge shaped thin film. Now look, you can get an idea how many times this has been asked. It is basically a section C question where you have to derive an expression for path difference due to wedge-shaped thin film. Now discuss the formation of interference fringes due to wedge-shaped thin film, which are being seen normally by reflected monochromatic light and obtain an expression for fringe width. Or what do you mean by wedge-shaped film? discuss their interference due to it and obtain an expression for the same. See, this is a 10 mark question. Four to five marks will go for your ray diagram and the rest of the marks for your derivation of path difference expression. So let us begin. First, let us clarify ourselves. What is meant by the term wedge shape? Okay, let us clarify what is basically this shape. This shape we call wedge. If two thin film layers are inclined at an angle theta, then this is known as wedge shape or thin film of increasing thickness, which is responsible for concentric circles in the Newton ring experiment. Look here, it is a thin film of increasing thickness. Say, suppose this is T1, this is T2, this is T3, this is T4, this is T5. So you can get an idea that T5 is greater than T4, T4 is greater than T3, T3 is greater than T2. So thin film of increasing thickness. That is what we say a wedge-shaped thin film is. Before starting to derive the expression, we should clear few mathematical formulas before we come to conclusion. Mathematical formulas, first, look at this circuit diagram here. As you can see, this is my wedge shape of angle theta. A ray of light is incident on it. And if I draw a normal, then this angle is I. Part of this ray of light gets reflected and part of it is refracted in my wedge-shaped thin film of refractive index mu. If this surface is plane, it will again get reflected inside my wedge-shaped thin film and finally emerge out. Path beyond T k will be same and I will get fringe pattern observed here. Once again, let me again tell you this diagram. If this is angle of incidence from the normal, then this R here will become angle of refraction. And from mathematical concept, you should be knowing that if this angle is theta, then if I extend the ray and make it like this, then this angle also becomes theta. See, this is exactly what I have done here in this diagram. See, if this is theta, then this also becomes theta. This is a mathematical concept. It is no derivation. You should first be knowing mathematical concepts before you derive the expression for path difference. So this angle is theta, then this angle becomes theta from this mathematical concept. Okay. Now there is a theorem in mathematics that exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles. That means this exterior angle here, it becomes equal to R plus theta. And, and this is the incident angle, this is the reflected angle. So if this is R plus theta, this angle also becomes equal to R plus theta. And what we have done, we have extended this ray backwards. And this triangle and this triangle are congruent to each other. Why? Because they have one side common, 
one angle 90 90 degree on both the sides because of which and my thickness of the thin film th and h th dash and h dash l are same hence this angle becomes r and now they are two parallel lines look here one line is this and one line is this and if i draw a line in between them like this so if this angle is r plus theta then this angle also becomes equal to r plus theta this mathematical concept i have used so i hope you are clear with the ray diagram ray diagram utilized which concept angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection sum of angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree exterior angle of a triangle is equal to sum of two interior opposite angles now we will begin to derive an expression for path difference between these two rays of light so we begin by once again writing the formula for path difference as we will follow the ray we will see how much it was inside my refractive index medium and how much it was in air thickness of the thin film is increasing from o to a and let this be your incident ray of light and the reflected light is pq it a uh, PR is my refracted ray. After reflection from lower surface of the film, it emerges in the direction of TH. And path difference between TH and PQ is given by path PR plus RT in the film minus PK in air. PR plus RT in the film minus PK in air gives me my path difference exactly what i did for thin films now pr plus rt i can break pr into pn plus nr how see pr pr plus rt so pr has been written as pn plus nr look at this diagram actually this triangle p b r and n so p n plus n r plus r t minus p k now p t k is my angle of incidence p t k is my angle of incidence i you can see here in this diagram and p t n is my angle of p t n p t n here see this this becomes my angle of refraction. Now, I will be taking my right angled triangle PKT. Formula for sine theta is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. And sine R is again PN upon PT. From Snell's law, I know that refractive index is equal to sine I by sine R. So sine I value I am keeping from here. PK by PT, sin R, PN by PT. So PK by PN, it becomes PK by PN, PT and PT get cancelled. So PK is equal to mu times PN. Putting this value of PK in my expression for path difference here, mu times PN, I get mu into NR plus RT. Triangles R, T, H dash and R, H dash L are congruent and this becomes equal to R plus theta. One angle is 90 degree and RH is common here. Look at these two triangles. These two triangles are congruent. This is 90 degree, this is 90 degree and this is a common side. Hence, the two congruent triangles, if I take two lines like this and I cut it like this, this angle and this angle come out same. These two are mathematical concepts. They have got nothing to do with physics. So you have to apply this much of mathematics here and you get the expression for path difference due to reflected light in a wedge-shaped thin film equal to 2 mu t cos r plus theta plus lambda by 2. When the thin film was of uniform thickness, the formula for path difference was 2 mu t cos r. But for wedge shape, 
instead of r i have written r plus theta similarly the conditions for maxima and minima how i told you in uniform thin film equal to this n lambda and for destructive interference 2 n plus minus 1 lambda by 2 in one case i use n equal to 0 1 2 3 3 and n equal to 1 2 3 so when wedge shaped film is illuminated by parallel light then straight fringes parallel to edge of mu r and theta are formed hence particular point will appear bright or dark depending upon the condition of maxima and minima since the locus of all points of constant thickness is a straight line hence straight fringes will be observed what is fringe width the difference between two consecutive maxima or minima gives us an expression for fringe width equal to lambda upon 2 mu theta once numerical has been asked on this formula that light of wavelength 6000 angstrom falls normally on a thin wedge shaped film of refractive index 1.4 forming fringes that are 2 mm apart find the angle of wedge in seconds so omega is equal to lambda upon 2 mu theta theta is lambda upon 2 mu omega put the mathematical values as given in the numerical and you get the answer now we come to the most important part of interference it is asked every alternate year or in fact every year you can expect a question on newton ring experiment or you can expect a numerical on newton's ring this is how much important newton ring is for your aktu paper so this is very 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 important first let us understand this diagram what is happening in this diagram this is my monochromatic source of light this is my lens combination which is making my rays fall at an angle perpendicular to a plain glass plate kept at an angle of 45 degree the angle is taken as 45 degree so that when rays of light are incident on it they fall perpendicularly on my plano convex lens kept on a glass plate and few rays retrace their path few are reflected from here so because of interference of these two rays of light my microscope will show a lovely fringe pattern in the form of a circle why are newton's ring circular a very common question of section a now what is the answer for this question look at this diagram carefully can you see two thin films here between the plano convex lens and plane glass plate these thin films are your wedge shaped air film or thin film of increasing thickness they are responsible and see they are formed on either side of the minima thickness of my air film here is zero so t is zero that makes me get the condition of minima that the center is dark at times the center is bright because of the presence of dust particles and the dust particles will have some thickness t it will not be zero in that case then we will not get a dark center now you look here thin film of increasing thickness so my concentric circles are increasing along like this r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 like this and similarly here so because of this wedge shaped thin film formed on either side of my plano convex lens i will get a circular fringe pattern here that is why newton's rings are circular and newton ring question is very important for your aktu examination point of view so if white light is used in place of monochromatic light we will see colored fringes now we will derive an expression for we know path difference formula for wedge shaped film is 2 mu t cos r plus theta equal to lambda by 2 uh, sorry plus lambda by 2 
for normal incidence r is equal to 0 and for very small angle of wedge we can take theta approximately equal to 0 so my path difference expression becomes equal to 2 mu t plus lambda by 2 for constructive interference we equate path difference equal to n lambda and for destructive interference 2 n plus lambda by 2 i have explained you these conditions deeply in in film due to uniform thickness. You can check it there also. At point of contact, the effective path difference is equal to lambda by two, which is a condition for minimum intensity. Hence, center of Newton's ring is dark. At times, due to the presence of dust particles, the condition of minima is not satisfied and center does not appear dark. This question is asked in section A. Next lecture, I will derive an expression for diameter of Newton ring, applications of same and numericals. Thank you.